EV batteries last from somewhere around 10 to 20 years. However, many people are confused that using fast EV charging can make their EV's battery last less than expected. Some people believe that fast charging can reduce the battery's lifespan, while others argue that it's just a myth. So, does fast charging ruin your EV's battery? If so, by how much? And if not, what should you be aware of when using fast charging for your EV? Let's find out. Generally, fast charging can and cannot ruin your EV's battery. This may sound confusing, but it depends on what type of fast charger you're using, how often you're using it, what EV you own, and the conditions in which you're charging your EV. If you drive a new electric vehicle, fast charging shouldn't hurt your battery much because most new EVs have a special system to control the battery's temperature. This system helps keep the battery from getting too hot or too cold when charging. However, you can't just relax and charge your vehicle with a fast charger every time. You're only fine if you use fast charging up to 22 kilowatts, with some mindful practices. As long as you maintain reasonable habits, like keeping your EV's battery charged between 20% and 80%, and avoiding extreme temperatures, this level of fast charging shouldn't cause massive harm. Higher power levels, however, require more caution. If used too often, faster charging can accelerate battery aging. For example, a test showed that two Nissan Leafs suffered 16% more rapid battery degradation when subjected exclusively to quick DC charging compared to those relying on AC fast charging. Here's what happens. When you use fast charging, your EV battery gets a big jolt of high voltage and current. This rush of energy can put a lot of stress on the battery, sort of like running really fast without a break. Over time, this can make the battery wear out more quickly than it would with slower charging. When a battery wears out, it can't hold as much charge anymore. This means your car will run out of power quicker than it did when the battery was new. The problem increases when you own an old EV. If you have a vehicle that's 5 or 10 years old, there's already some wear and tear on the battery. Also, these vehicles didn't have support for fast charging and didn't have a special system to control the battery's temperature. So, if you try to fast charge an old EV, the damage could be extensive. Now, this doesn't mean you should completely avoid fast charging. This is the era of electric vehicles, and fast charging is a crucial feature for many EV owners. So, how do you ensure fast charging doesn't damage your battery, especially if you drive an older model? Well, the first step is to understand that fast chargers should not be your main way of charging your electric vehicle. Many people might think fast charging is the main way to power up an EV, but that's not true. Actually, over 80% of EV charging happens at home or at work using level 2 chargers. These chargers are different because they charge slower, adding about 25 miles of range per hour, which is just right for most daily needs. Fast charging is best used for times when you really need a quick boost of power like on a road trip or when you're in a hurry. Meanwhile, level 2 charging works great when your EV can stay parked for a long time, like when you're at the mall. This way, you can keep your battery healthy without rushing its natural flow. Another great tip for keeping your EV's battery in top shape is to use the scheduled charging feature that many EVs come with. This handy tool lets you plan when your car charges based on your daily activities. Doing this helps your EV avoid staying at a high charge level for too long, which can wear out the battery. Scheduled charging means you can set it up so your EV gets just the right amount of juice and is ready to go when you need it most. This way, you're not overcharging your battery or not making the most of your charging setup. Next, we have the temperature, which is a big deal when it comes to fast charging your EV. As I've been saying, fast chargers pump a lot of energy into your car's battery really quickly, and this heats things up. Think about running really fast on a hot day. It's a similar feeling for your battery. This extra heat can speed up the chemical reactions inside the battery, which might lead to damage over time, like parts breaking down or wearing out faster. So, what do you do? Well, you have to control the charging process yourself. Even if your vehicle is new and has a special system to control the battery's temperature, it's still your responsibility to make sure that the conditions are optimal for charging. For example, if you're fast charging on a hot day, try to find shade or use a charger that is in the shade. Also, avoid leaving your car out in direct sunlight while it's fast charging, as this can cause significant damage. The next best practice is to charge your vehicle up to 80% most of the time. This approach helps extend the life of your EV's battery by limiting the high voltage and stress that comes with a full charge. Keeping your battery in the 20% to 80% range is like pacing yourself during a run. It keeps the battery healthy by reducing wear and tear. 
But wait, this isn't a universal rule for every EV. Yeah, that's right. There are exceptions, especially with some unique battery types. For example, the base trim Tesla Model 3 uses a lithium-iron phosphate battery. This battery type, which is part of the lithium-ion family, actually benefits from regular charges up to 100%. Tesla recommends this charging practice for their Model 3 vehicles with LFP batteries, illustrating that EV owners should always consider the specific needs of their vehicle's battery. Lastly, it's the charger itself that plays a crucial role in protecting your EV's battery during fast charging. You can't control the charging process yourself if you don't have access to a reliable charger. That's why it's essential to only use chargers from trusted and reputable brands. Look for chargers thoroughly tested and certified by recognized organizations such as UL or TUV. These certifications ensure that the charger meets safety and performance standards, giving you peace of mind when charging your EV. Additionally, consider investing in a smart charger that comes with advanced features like temperature control and automatic shutoff to prevent overcharging or overheating. Now, before we end, let's quickly give you three tips on how you can maximize the benefits of fast charging and get the most out of your EV's battery. Number one, park in a cool place when charging your EV, especially when fast charging. Just like we get tired and sweaty when it's too hot out, so does your car's battery. Parking in a shady spot can help keep your battery cool, which is super important because too much heat can wear it out faster. On sunny days or during a heat wave, a cool spot is like a comfy chair for your EV when it's getting energy. This simple step helps to protect your EV's battery and keep it happy and healthy. Number two, charge at the right time. As I said earlier, scheduled charging is an excellent feature to take advantage of, especially if you have a time of use electricity plan. This means that electricity rates can vary depending on the time of day, and charging during off-peak hours can save you money in the long run. Plus, it's also better for the environment as it helps reduce strain on the power grid during peak hours. And finally, number three, don't be afraid to use fast charging when you need it, but don't overdo it. Yeah, don't listen to those who say never use fast charging. It's there for a reason, to help you when you need it most. If you're on a road trip or need to quickly charge up before heading out, then fast charging is your friend. If I have to conclude, all I have to say is that nothing is meant to last forever. Even we are gonna die one day. Whoops, sorry for the negativity, I guess. So treat your EV's battery carefully and it will serve you well for a long time. Fast charging doesn't ruin the battery. It's your actions and habits that can make or break its lifespan. I hope I've answered all of your questions and cleared up any confusion about fast charging EVs. Yes, I didn't cover what fast EV chargers are the best, how much you should spend on one, or the overall cost of ownership. But other than that, I hope this guide has helped you a lot. Leave a like if you enjoyed the video and don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more content on the latest and greatest vehicles in the automotive world. Thank you for watching.